Hello everyone, I'm Abba and I'm here representing the African Kingdoms Federation. I hope everyone's fine. Um, today is Sunday evening where I'm in, in the UK and um, I hope everyone's weekend went to plan. Everything was, you know, what you wanted it to be and perhaps even better. For those who weren't so in a high level of emotional tone, uh, you know you can recover, just consolidate and, you know, strive again. So the topic today, um, it's just going to be an introduction, not um, an in-depth look at the course. The course topic is basics of organizing. Yes, um, <clears throat> this is one of the 19 life skills courses that we offer at the African Kingdoms Federation Life Skills Academy. And um, we, I'm just trying to break them down bit by bit by bit, especially for those of um, us who prefer to get a little video that they can watch instead of um, reading messages and stuff like that. I um, have had... More than one person say, okay, they would, be, they would love to have a video so that they can watch it. I um, think my commanding officer as well has hinted that should like to see something like that. So here goes. This is my first one. Basics of organizing. Yeah, so when we think of organizing, there are a lot of things for some people come to mind. For me, the, the organizing, I think of the workplace. Um, you know, being being part of a team and getting your portion of the work done. And I think the elements of that are they're 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 present in everybody's lives. So for instance now let us take the the task of preparing breakfast either for yourself or for your family, or, you know, as part of your work, or whatever it is. But the task here we're going to concentrate on is breakfast. So, in, in the terminology used in the course, breakfast is the final product. So, you've said that. It's breakfast. Now what you want to do is think of the things that need to come together for breakfast to happen. Basically, find the particles that will combine to become that final product, the breakfast that you want. You know? So you think of that, what needs to be done, then you do what you can, and then gradually do the rest. So basically, you think, okay, breakfast, what do I want for breakfast? What do I feel like? Oh, eggs, toast, and sausages with a cup of coffee. Okay, then you've got a mental picture of the final product. So you know you're going to have to look for the egg. You're going to have to look for the bread. You're going to have to look for the plate to put it on, the sausage, the, the coffee, the hot water, you know, the spoon, the cup. If you take sugar, if you take milk, all of these elements, these particles combined to give you the final product. And um, you put the ones that go together. So you string them together, um, those that are related. So if if I was to look on your cupboard or the, your kitchen counter, I wouldn't see you putting the eggs beside the milk because you're not going to combine those two. Well, they'll combine in the final analysis when you consume the final product. But before, it's you keep them apart. So all the things that go for the cup of coffee, you put them together. That will be your cup, your spoon. You know, you get your kettle with your hot water going. Your coffee, your sugar, your milk. Yeah? Um, the eggs. Are you going to have them boiled? Are you going to have them fried? You know? These are the things. You put the egg together. I mean, um, the egg, the oil, the frying pan. You know, that's going to go near the stove. You know? Um, the sausages. Yeah, you take out the sausage that you want. And um, how you want them, whether you want them 
as as they are you're gonna cut them slice them into little bits or whatever it is so you did you design um what you want your final product to look like and you put those th the separate parts together then you sequence them so um how do you want your coffee you want it well hot piping hot you want it to drink before you eat your um you eat your sandwich your breakfast sandwich yeah you're gonna look for the bread as well if you want butter you're gonna take those out yeah so if you put all the elements together you put them in a sequence what goes with what you don't want when you're gonna fry your egg you're reaching for the milk or the sugar you know you so you put all of those together in sequences and then you let them flow so you're gonna fry your egg you're gonna fry your sausage yes you're gonna toast your bread you're gonna butter it you're gonna put that in the plate set it out good nice then you're gonna make a cup of coffee and then you're gonna you know turn off your stove make sure everything's all right your, your, your toaster's off, you know, your kettle's off, and then you're going to sit down and have your breakfast. So that's the process of organizing your final product. You think, you look at what it is, and you work backwards to, um, to make it happen. So as part of this bite size, I'm just going to read for you what the text says, and we'll finish there. Based upon what I've said, I'll read for you what the text says about the formula and then we leave it there then we can um you can use this now to inform your discussion as it's an introduction okay so here it says if you have a project you want to get done here is how to go about it first gather up information about all the things there are to do on the project then group the similar types of activities required for the project into single jobs now give these jobs to people to do. So in the case of the breakfast, that's you. You're the egg maker. You're the coffee maker. You're the toaster. You, you have those hats, right? Once you've given people their jobs, set up ways for communications to travel between the members of your group. So obviously you're going to be looking, okay, um, the egg is going to burn now. This is you alone on the job. But I'm trying to show you that in every scenario, this thing works. So... You're looking and you say the eggs eggs are ready now. You're gonna flip them out the pan. What uh, give your group any materials they need to do their jobs as well. Yeah, you're gonna fry the egg and um you only have a plate. You know, you need to give them the frying pan. You need to get the frying pan. Yes. Arrange communication and cooperation with other people, groups or organizations as needed to get the project done. So then if there's somebody else in your house that you never talk to about breakfast, once you well, you can ask them, do you want breakfast? So you can, you know, reshuffle your thing and say, okay, all right, I'm going to make a breakfast as well. And the last thing, after all this is done, the thing to do is let the group members get busy doing their jobs. Right? So that's it again. Um, I should just read it again. And we're going to leave it there quickly. This is the basics of organizing. Um, a little taster in intro session. So, okay, here it goes. If you have a project you want to get done, here is how to go about it. First, gather up information about all the things there are to do on the project. Then, group the similar types of actions required for the project into single jobs. Now, give these jobs to people to do. Once you have given people their jobs, Set up ways for communications to travel between the members of your group. Give your group any materials they need to do their jobs. Arrange communication and cooperation with other people, groups or organizations as needed to get the project done. After all this is done, the thing to do is let the group members get busy doing their jobs. So, okay, this is just a bite size, as I said, an introduction to... The topic of the basics of organizing. I am Abba. I represent African Kingdoms Federation Life Skills Academy. And um, I hope when you sit in your group, this forms the basis of the conversations you shall have regarding the elements or the particles that have combined to make this course on the basics of organizing. 
Thank you and I hope to see you again. I would love for your feedback to tell me if there's something you'd like me to change or if there's a little more that you'd like me to do or whatever. This is this is something that we're coming up with and um, your, info, your, your feedback would be very much appreciated. One in light. Thank you.